So we have a lot of reasons as to why we've been hot and dry these last couple of days. And one of the main reasons is because we've been in the influence of this upper level high pressure system that's been within our region. And unfortunately, it's not going anywhere. And at the surface, a high pressure system is associated with sinking air, which makes it difficult for clouds to form. Hence why we haven't had much clouds out there, only hazy conditions, which will continue for tomorrow. And we also talked about dry conditions. And speaking of dry, here's a closer look at our drought monitor that was just released this past Thursday and things have gotten just a little bit worse, especially areas further north of the Rio Grande Valley, just along Zapata. And I know we had those rain chances on Friday, but it just wasn't enough to really help us out. So unfortunately, we still have the same drought conditions. However, we could potentially see it get worse as we head into this upcoming work week just because we're not expecting any rain chances, just hot and dry conditions for these next couple days. So most of us will probably go out to South Padre Island to get some relief. However, it is important to know that today and tomorrow there is a high risk for rib currents. So here is what you need to know if you do get caught in one. So there's always a misconception that rib currents pull you underwater. That is not true. That is a myth. Rib currents is drift you farther and farther away from the beach. So at this time, it is very important to stay calm and try not to fight it. At this time, what you can do is yell out for help because the beach is probably going to be packed. Someone's going to hear you and get help. And then when you can, try to swim parallel to the beach or just alongside it. And it doesn't matter if it's to the right or to the left, just as long as it's to the parallel of the beach. And we talked about some heat safety tips, but it's also important to talk about signs of heat-related illnesses because you could potentially experience these symptoms, especially if you spend a lot of time outside. So again, just listen to your body and take frequent breaks, whether it's in the shade or inside where there is AC, because take a look at those temperatures these next couple days. However, on Tuesday, we are going to have those clouds return and that's going to help us not be as hot. It's going to block out some of that sun. It's going to create kind of like a blanket for us and it's going to stay that way these next couple days as we head into next weekend. So temperatures at best will only warm up into the upper 90s. However, we're still going to have our winds coming in from the south southeast, bringing in that warm golf moisture, and that's going to cause us to be very humid. So our feel like temperatures are still going to be a couple degrees hotter than the actual temperatures. So make sure to continue to listen to your body and follow those heat safety tips. We are just days away from the start of hurricane season, and the Valley Storm Team wants you to be prepared for the storm. We spoke with people who have lived through hurricanes and tropical storms and we're asking how local officials are preparing to keep you safe. Watch Surviving the Storm on CBS4 on Thursday, May 30th at 6 p.m.